Hi, my name is Brittany and I'm the fitness supervisor here at the Monon Community Center. I'm also 200 hour yoga certified and a former runner. Today I'm going to put you through a short vinyasa that is great for relaxing all of your muscles after your hard run this weekend. We're going to start at the top of your mat. I want you to take a nice deep breath in, roll your shoulders up. Take a nice deep exhale, roll them down your back. On your next inhale, bring your arms overhead and exhale forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step back into a plank position. Making sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders and your abs are embraced. On your next inhale, exhale, lower down, raising your elbows by your ribs, untuck your toes, and then take a nice little cobra stretch to lengthen out your back and open up your chest. Lower down slowly and on your exhale, press back into a child's pose. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, drop your heels, find your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. On your exhale, feel your calves stretch and lengthen as they drop into the floor. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. And exhale, step forward, find a nice low lunge. Take a deep breath in here, feel that hip flexor stretch. On your exhale, pull your toes up, send your hips to the sky, and stretch out the back of your hamstring. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, plant your foot. I want you to find rotation. Stretch out your back and hips by reaching your fingers up to the sky. Place your hand down, repeat that two more times. So exhale, lengthen the hamstring, find your lunge, open twist, lower down. One more time, lengthen into that triangle, lower down, open up, and plant your hands. Step back into your plank position, take a deep breath in, lower gently all the way down to your belly, untuck your toes, lift your chest for a little cobra stretch, and then exhale, send your hips to your heels into a child's pose. Tuck your toes, drop your heels, Send your heels to the ground, stretch and lengthen out your calves. And then we're gonna to go to the other side, lifting your left leg up, plant your foot, find that low lunge stretch. Take a breath here just to feel that hip flexor, lengthen out on your right leg. And then exhale, pull your toes up, drop your right heel, find that nice hamstring stretch. Lower down, open up to your twist, rotating around your spine and then plant your hand. Two more times, flow with your breath, exhale down. Come into your low lunge, big reach, look all the way up to the sky, and down. One more time, lifting up, and lower. Open and twist, and plant your hand. Step into your plank position, lower all the way down to your belly, take a baby cobra stretch and then press back into your child's pose. Now I would recommend repeating that three more times on each side. And then when you're done, just flip over to your back, bring your knees to your chest, cross your right ankle over your left knee, and hug your left knee in, taking 10 deep breaths in a supine pigeon stretch. This is gonna help with opening the side glutes, which is definitely a muscle that gets tight when we run. And then cross your left ankle over your right knee, repeating that on the other side. 10 deep breaths just to open up that hip, releasing the IT band and lower back. And then bring your knees into your chest. We're also gonna take a nice deep spinal twist. So drop both knees over to the left. Look over your right shoulder and get that nice stretch through the intercostals, the low back. And again, down that right side body. Take full inhales, filling your belly with air, and full exhales to release. And then switch to the other side. Try taking 10 deep breaths, big inhales, and exhales. After repeating those 10 breaths, come onto your back for your final stretch, Happy Baby, where you grab the soles of your feet, pull your knees towards your shoulders, and feel the inner thighs and hip flexors open up. Stay here for 10 deep breaths. And enjoy your recovery after your